Hey gang, thanks for watching. This is the first try using the intercom mode for using the Cena 20S. So yep, I'll just play me? it real time and let you guys listen in and then we'll try and do a quick review at the end. So far so good? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, it's not bad up here so far. So how is um, how's my voice volume? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Uh, on takeoff, I can hear a little bit of the motor noise, but it's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, it sounds not too bad. It's a uh, it's a little crackly. Yeah, I would say that your voice is really crackly much at all. Looks like Chris is getting ready to go. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Do a 360 here. Yeah, it's a little bit better, a bit lower. Yeah, at least I'm moving forward here. I haven't practiced low flying in a little while anyway, so. Yeah, it's good wind for it tonight. I'm just right at your six o'clock. All right. Actually, I put my uh, my antenna up on my Cena. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot to do that. And it, you're a lot clearer. Yeah, I totally forgot about the antenna. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Those other guys uh, up in the area? Uh, just swing around and have a look. No, I don't see him. I'm gonna just keep going this way for a little bit. Yeah, looks like there's a power line about half a K up there, so just be careful. Yeah, thanks. Actually, it's not bad to fly in winds like this once in a while because you get to go nice and slow. And it's, it's good practice to fly low too. I think it teaches you more um, control, you know, because you don't, when you're flying hundreds of feet in the air, you, just, you don't realize if you're going up 100 feet, 50 feet, you don't even really realize it. Yeah, exactly. There's a couple of horses up there, too. Yeah, the deer are on this side of the road here. Oh, yeah, I see them. Too bad we missed the sunset, but uh, these sides are still pretty nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. So Murphy's Law. Yeah. Uh, Cena just came on and said, low battery. Oh, no. <laughs> So in case I lose you, that's okay. that's why. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go too much further here, but no. it's not that bad. So I'll just... And there you have it. The battery died the first time trying to use it in the air intercom mode. But that's my own fault because the previous weekend I had gone for three flights and tried using you know making some phone calls and that sort of stuff while I was in the air, and I neglected to charge it the week prior to using it this time so my bad anyway um, I would probably rate it about a six maybe a seven out of ten and uh, it seemed a little crackly during the flight but I think maybe the most part that was because I was trying to uh, record it using the scenic GoPro backpack at the same time so it seemed to be kind of competing with the signal a little bit and it kind of cut in and out so I think next time I'll try it with out recording it and I think the intercom will likely work better. Uh, using it with the antenna up definitely um, improved the, the clarity of the range. I would say you're probably somewhere between six to eight hundred meters is probably your best range while you're in the air. You know I think the engine noise in the background definitely has an impact on it. This was a windy night but it sh you know the wind really shouldn't affect it for the most part. So we'll keep trying it and see how it goes. Uh, I think as we move along, we'll progress and try to make it a little better. So thanks for watching. Please tune in, subscribe if you want to see more of the videos. Live life, guys. Take care.